Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Vibe. Right before I get to that, just want to remind you, this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. Great place to get really cool NFC stickers, keychains, tags, all that great stuff for your NFC enabled smartphone. So head over to AndyTags.com after this review and check them out. A lot of great information there if you have no idea what NFC is. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Vibe, which basically lets anyone with an Android phone create custom vibration notifications for their uh, contacts, uh, either for phone calls and or for uh, text messages. So it's really cool, really simple app to use and uh, really, uh, it's really great. So let's just hop on my phone. I can show you what it is a lot better than I can tell you, of course. So let's do that now. All right, so right here you can see is the uh, app Vibe. So I'm gonna choose that and open that up. This is the uh, Vibe home screen. Uh, basically, you have your vibration pad, you have the play button, uh, which will be a record button if you reset, as you can see. You have your save button, uh, you have your vibrations created list button, uh, your context button, and your settings button. Just going into settings real quick, um, basically you can choose your default vibration for calls. Uh, if you want to enable the current vibration to be your default vibration for phone calls. Same thing for SMS. Um, device call vibration settings. This just takes you into your settings. You can disable the phone call vibration because if your phone is set to vibrate and you have Vibe vibrating, that can be a conflict. So if you're using Vibe, you want to disable your built-in uh, vibration so that uh, uh, Vibe can take over. And same thing for SMS. And then you have a little guide. If you click the guide, then there's a quick swipe thing that shows you how things work. So that's really cool. Um, if you download the app, you can check that out as well. Of course, I'm gonna show you how everything works myself right now. When you're ready to record a vibration, you hit the record button. It's recording right now. And as I press the vibration pad, then you can see the little pattern down here as it goes up. Once it's done, You'll see, that shows you the pattern that uh, you have created, the vibration pattern you've created. Uh, you can also play it back by hitting play. I don't know if you can hear it right now. Maybe you can hear it, but it definitely is playing through it. If you wanna save it, you just click the save button. And if you're done with that vibration and you re reset it, you hit the reset button. If you want to go to your save vibrations, you hit the list button, and this takes you into your vibrations that you've saved. You can hit a play button on any one of them, and it'll play through that one for you. And you can select one, and you can, if you click the X button, that'll delete it. You can select multiple ones as well to do that. Uh, if you hit the menu button, it gives you options to select all or select inverse. And if you click the little vibration icon up there, then that is selecting it as your vibration. So it has now loaded that vibration into the main center, so you can do what you wanna do with it. Now whether you've just created a vibration or you've pulled up one that you've saved, there are things you can do with it. You can, if you hit the call button, then you can select that to be your default vibration for phone calls. If you hit the uh, SMS button, you can select that vibration to be your default vibration for your text messages. Um, or you can apply it to specific contacts, which is pretty cool. So we're going to hit the contacts button and go into a contact list. Now, when you go into contacts, the contacts that have a uh, phone icon beside them, let's see if we can get my camera to focus on them there, uh, those are ones that I've already assigned. Uh, a vibration pattern to that phone number for phone calls and the one on the bottom I've assigned a vibration pattern to that one for text messages so you can do it either way and basically uh, when you're in your contacts 
and you can search contacts as well using the search button you can search through your contacts but you can select any of your contacts so I'm going to select Adam Lambert and uh, I just made up a names for this for the sake of this review uh, once you've selected one or you can select multiple you can uh, hit that button and apply it that vibration, the currently loaded vibration to phone calls and text messages from that contact or to just calls or to just SMS. So let's apply it to SMS. Now let's select another one and uh, let's delete. Now I can remove uh, vibration patterns that have been assigned to that contact um, either for phone calls, text messages, or both. Right now there's a text message so let's remove that. So as you can see, now it's gone, so that won't happen anymore. And then you can select the menu button, you can select all, you can select inverse, you can select applied, and that will select uh, anyone for which a vibration pattern has been applied to either both phone and message, or just call, or just SMS. So it's really, really pretty simple uh, once you've created those vibration patterns to just apply them to any of your contacts. And then when you're done with that, you just leave. And then you can create another vibration pattern. So it's really simple, really easy to use. You can create custom vibration patterns, assign them to contacts so that when your phone is in vibrate mode or if you have it in uh, regular mode but maybe you're shopping or something where you actually can't hear the ringtone through the vibration you'll know who's calling you um, and that's pretty much it that's pretty much what it does it's a very straightforward app uh, and they're continually working on it to uh, improve it and add additional features but I highly recommend you uh, definitely uh, check it out and play around with it uh, if nothing else you can have lots of fun creating some cool vibration patterns and just seeing how it works. So that was the app Vibe, as you can see. Really cool. Um, allows you to know who is calling you without a ringtone. Um, you know, if you use custom ringtones, maybe not so important when you have uh, sound on. But when you've put your phone in a vibrate mode, to be able to know exactly who is calling you, because um, if you're in a theater, if most people call you, you don't want to answer it. But if someone very important calls or someone that you might think might be an emergency, then it's great to be able to know who it is and know you need to answer it. So anyway, that's a vibe. If you like this review or know of anyone who might benefit from it, then please share it with your friends and family through Facebook, Google, Twitter, or whatever. Um, like it if you like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. That's fine. If you have questions or comments, Feel free to post them below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to be uh, notified and keep up with all the upcoming uh, Android app reviews I'll be doing. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.